All right, here we are again. Me and the boy, he's out of the, out of the shop, but he's there. Don't worry, I'm not doing this by myself. Um, so today we're gonna go over a few techniques and we're gonna start with hammer lock. We'll, uh, the, we'll go into that, you know how we slipped into that hammer lock the other day? Nice little transition where you trap your arm, you turn through, you got that hammer lock, you could lace through if you wanted. Let's go uh, from a standing position though and let's go over a few things in the ways of hammer lock. So I'm gonna go with the traditional way to get into the hammer lock, the way that everybody learns when they, they're learning their basics. So we're gonna go over that first. So you need to lock up, boom, nice good lock up again. You wanna keep that head up nice and solid. Everything's nice and tight here, but like there's still, we're very visual. The first thing in a normal, a basic, the basic hammer lock is you wanna take that arm, you wanna brush that arm away. So that arm that's on your elbow, you gotta get rid of it. So once you break that down, what I do is I like to swing nice and high over the top. The idea is, of course, not to hit him in the face even though we're supposed to look like a battle, I don't want it to look like a, I don't want to punch it for real, right? So when you lock up, boom, that elbow hand goes away, the one that's on your elbow, you swing over and you grab that wrist. Once you grab that wrist, what you're gonna do is step almost behind him. So you're almost giving him your back, but you're stepping all the way over to the left and then you're tucking underneath, Blank. Boom, there you go, you're in hammer lock position, okay? That's the basic one. So now Ethan is a little bit bigger. Ethan can still go about at the same way. However, tall guys, big guys, you don't wanna circle underneath the guy. So all he can do, or it's not all he can do, but like what he can do is he can do the normal reversal. So Ethan is going to do what we did the last week. So we'll turn it around. Ethan is going to go with the lock up and he's going to grab the wrist lock and then float elbow over elbow in a hammer lock and then from there we'll show you some reversals. Okay, so when we're in this position here, boom, arm away, he grabs that wrist, elbow over elbow, turns into the body, nice and tight. See how nice and solid he is? He's nice and tight in there and then it looks like you can work it a bit. The cell is here. This is the cell, not, not, oh, my arm, you don't want to be that guy. This torque is where it's going. So you want to try to escape it that way. Now there's a couple of reversals we can do out of this one. I'll go with the basic one because it's, it's a nice one. And then I'll show you one with Ethan that he can do for a bigger guy. So right here, if I turn Ethan this way, he's got a hammer lock on. You see his hands are there. They're nice and solid. They should have two hands on a hammer lock. The idea would be to put my elbow there first. I would like to break at the elbow. There's no reason why if he's got two hands on there and he's got it, He's got the advantage and he's got my back. So the idea would be to break. So break there. You want to break with your elbow and now you have it with your wrist. He's got your wrist, but you can trap it with your elbow. Once you trap that wrist with your elbow, you can tuck underneath. Wham! In one step. That's all you need to do is one step. So from here, since Ethan's already here, we might as well show you a reversal for Ethan. So Ethan is a big guy. He's a big, tall dude. He's not going to do it the same way as me because he's not gonna tuck his body underneath. That would be kind of silly for his size to get underneath a guy that's only five foot eight. So what Ethan's gonna do is he's gonna reach over the top. He doesn't have to break the hand because he's already reaching over. Once he reaches over, he's gonna grab my chin and he's gonna pull. As Soon as he pulls, that should alleviate pressure because he's pulling on the chin. Now he'll pivot over, boom, into a headlock position. That doesn't mean he doesn't have to go back to the arm. He can go back to the arm, of course, it's all just, it's all relative. It's however we want to play it, play it out. How, like, but that's a nice little way. That reach over, grab that chin, and yank on that chin, and then pivot around with the momentum in that nice little fashion is really nice. It's a really nice little thing for you bigger, taller guys. I'm gonna give you one that's kind of fun. This one is uh, one of these ones that I really, really like. So what, in a hammerlock position, this is just a counter to a counter. So chain wrestling is countering and uh, not countering. So I'll position Ethan this way. Ethan's gonna try to go underneath now. Uh, he's gonna break at the arm, boom. And as he circles through, what I'm gonna do is keep with momentum and turn all the way around, holding onto my hammer lock. It's just a different way of countering a counter. So one more time, Ethan goes to break. So break right there, boom. As he goes through, I just follow the momentum all the way over and keep him in that hammer lock. It's kind of a neat little thing. It uh, works on every kind of show. Try it out.